Hey guys, welcome back to Setsuma Street. So it is crazy hot in LA right now. It's probably crazy hot wherever you are too because it's that time of year. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick little video with uh, a couple of announcements and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've been working on that isn't cross stitch. Um, so the first thing is there is a trunk show slash floss tube event going on at Needleworkers Delight in Metuchen, New Jersey. Um, they are a shop that carries my stuff and this weekend during their event they're going to have some of my models on display and some of my charts and I guess there's going to be like a ton of floss tubers there. So if you're in the area, that sounds like a fun thing. Go check it out. Uh, and I will put their Facebook info uh, in the show notes so you can find them. Uh, so then the other thing I wanted you to know is even though July is almost over, I am doing a Christmas in July sale right now. So now till August 6th, all of my Christmas charts and kits are 10% off. So I think it's the perfect time to just like crank the AC and stay inside and think of Christmas and cooler weather. Um, so those are on sale. And so then I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, my one of my current obsessions, which is cruel embroidery. Um, every time I post a video or a photo of anything of my office, I get a ton of questions about the piece that's normally hanging right above my head. Um, so I thought I would talk to you a little bit about it today. So this is the piece. It is this beautiful sun thing. Uh, this was stitched by my Aunt Carol in the 1970s uh, and it hung in my house growing up. Uh, I saw it every day and I think it probably had a big influence on my personal taste in needlework. You can probably see a little bit of Satsuma uh, influence here. Um, so this, I did a little research um, and found out that this was designed by a company called Tiger Spit, um, and it was a kit, and the kit was called Fantasy Wind. Um, and it does occasionally come up on eBay. Uh, I saw it come up last year on eBay and the kit sold for like $150 at least. Um, but it also sometimes comes up as a finished pattern, you know, sometimes vintage sellers on Etsy and eBay will have it. So um, people ask me all the time if I could copy it and turn it into a pattern, and I just wouldn't do that. I wouldn't think that that was right to do, um, but it does inspire me every day, and, you know, hopefully you can see that in my work. And it's one of my most cherished possessions. I just love it. Um, so... I have kind of gotten on this kick of doing cruel embroidery. I wanted to kind of uh, improve my hand embroidery skills with the goal of someday doing Satsuma embroidery kits um, besides cross stitch. Uh, so I started buying kits on eBay and this is one of the first ones I got. Um, this was a kit, this is called I Love You, go figure. Um, <laughs> And this was a kit by a company called Sunset Stitchery, which did a ton of really great kits uh, in the 70s and early 80s. Um, and this was designed by a woman named Chris Davenport, who I believe is still uh, active as an artist, but not as a needlework designer anymore. Um, and this has her little signature was these cute little ladybugs, which she always included in her designs. Um, so this was super fun to do, and I'm going to show you in a close-up how cool the stitches look in, um, in a close-up. They're really dimensional and they have a lot of texture. Um, if you don't know the difference between cruel and other types of embroidery, it's just cruel usually means that it's done with wool uh, yarn instead of like a cotton embroidery floss, and the wool gives it like a really textural kind of vibe. Um, this is another piece, another Chris Davenport design that I just finished. This is called My Alphabet Sampler. Um, and I'll put info about all these in the notes. Um, and this is another one that you really have to see in a close up to see how cool and textural all the stitches are. And then um, 
the one I'm currently working on is enormous. It's this big thing. Um, this is called Catnap. This is not Chris Davenport, but it is a Sunset Stitchery kit. Let me show you the cover so you can see what it's going to look like when it's finished. It's, of course, it's a cat. As usual, I'm obsessed with cats. I'm going to change the coloring on this cat so that it looks like our uh, Bengal cat um, because it kind of actually looks like her. And um, I'm really proud of how this geranium came out. I just think it looks really realistic. Um, so it's really amazing to me what you can do with uh, just embroidery stitches. It just can make such an interesting kind of realistic looking image. Um, so let me show you these in close up and uh, you can see how cool they are. I hope you enjoyed seeing all those different stitches up close. Um, obviously, my baby boy has joined us for the end again here. Um, so let me know in the comments if you would be interested in seeing uh, Satsuma Street kits for cruel or hand embroidery or anything other than uh, cross stitch. Or if you are just like cross stitch for life, nothing but cross stitch. Um, that's totally cool too. Uh, anyway. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.